manners were never invented to make anyone look silly. Good manners show our consideration for the feelings of other people. You can see this area is flooded. This is one of the sections with the trees we've all been concerned with. Can you unlock this, please? We're just filming the flood, that's all! Okay, slow down. As you can see here, the trees water building up. You check this out right here. Do you wanna hate on us? Do you need to ease on love? I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Four minutes, hey. I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Four minutes, hey. I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. We have rules that we follow. Rules of good behavior. Um, look how bad the flooding is. This is on our street, the turn. All that's water. Come on, baby, just pour. People, there's standing water. Can you see the, there's a leaf. Can you see the floating leaf? Can you see the newspaper floating? Do you understand, Larry? Well then, if people are going to live and work together, don't you agree that we should have rules? This is Saturday. The water is standing. We're at Dixon. This is my hood. The water is standing here. This is supposed to be a drainage area. And as you can see back there, I don't know if you'll zoom in, it still has water in it. Look over here. Can you see all the water still? This is why when I tell the city that these things are clogged and they ignore me, that's when I wonder, I, I just, it's just beyond words to me. I mean, I've been proactive as a neighborhood commissioner telling you guys these things have been blocked and when we really need them, this expensive road project, you, we've endured all your crappy dust and toxic fumes and keeping us up. It doesn't freaking drain! signed up this evening. We'll start with Lisa Marie Coppola. Hi, Mayor. It's actually Coppola. Oh, okay, thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, it's open up here a bajillion times. I'm here today to talk about the preferred scenario amendment. We got this piece of paper at the Neighborhood Commission meeting, and it's like, whoa, the day after my birthday, they went ahead and started this whole process. And I'm noting you guys just finished the Hunter Road project, so it's great timing. I guess for me, we need to start establishing some sort of criteria for these developments. We need stewards and not scrubs when it comes to building. You think about it, Carson has been breaking a 2008 permit right across the street from that property. I've been squawking about that through, I don't know, going to neighborhood commission meetings, coming up here, and no one's done anything. He's not a steward. Good manners were never invented to make anyone look silly. Good manners show our consideration for the feelings of other people. Why Mr. Uh, Carson can't be a st steward versus a scrub and use his private property maybe to invite those students to do a little bit of digging. The second reason is that that is purgatory hell and we all know it. If you look at the trajectory of the time of this process, you guys aren't going to even get the flood data until it hits city council. 
So if that area is in the flood zone, why are we having this whole trajectory of this process workflow when you aren't going to even have the data on the flood? Now, everybody knows, thirdly, that the woodlands cause the flooding. And if you disagree with that, that's fine. That's your opinion as an American. However, there is the perception here in our community that that development caused the flood. And I live right over there by Purgatory Hill. And so I'm really concerned about this development. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly, right? And it's also known as a buster. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to dig into that ground for a high-rise building right over the aquifer. We all know that area where you guys, Mayor Susan, did that whole road over there. That was one big archaeological site, right? They found stuff on stilts and no one did anything about it. So it's unfortunate that we're going to dig more into that sacred area. I guess the final thing I wanted to say is I was looking at this agenda item y'all have, number 19. It's just another scrub situation. Look how much money y'all are giving these people. I had a great conversation with a member downtown, a local small business owner, and he's actually set up his gray water so it flushes the toilet, right? Why aren't these guys getting rebates? Those are cool, like ma and pa, innovative ideas. It's very proactive San Marcos. It's good San Marcos spirit, and we're not giving them any more money. I appreciate y'all's time. God bless San Marcos.